Welcome to the Le Petit Saint Crochet YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying to pull off scary, but I don't think I accomplished it. So let me start over. Welcome to the Le Petit Saint Crochet YouTube channel. I'm Elise, and I am so excited today to be sharing my spooktacular Halloween Amigurumi projects. I love Halloween, but here's the deal. I don't do scary. I'm not a scary movie lover. I don't do demons. No. I don't do monsters. Mm-mm. I don't do blood. No, no. I don't do gore. Mm-mm. I don't do witches. Mm-mm. Except for the cute kind of little witches that ride brooms. Okay, I can do that. Um, I do not do mummies. Oh, oh, heck no. I don't do haunted houses. Except for, like, cute ones from, like, Scooby-Doo kind of things. I don't do werewolves. No, thank you. I don't do vampires except for kind of the handsome ones. Okay, maybe. I don't do, what are some other scary things that I wrote a whole list of that now I can't remember. Um, I don't do ghosts. I can deal with Casper, kind of friendly, happy little ghost, but I don't do any of that scary stuff. I don't do whispering things that you can't see what it is. I don't do zombies. No, 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 no. So today I am going to share with you my favorite Amigurumi Halloween projects. They're mostly pretty cute. I'm going to be listing all the resources in the description box below because I'm going to have a lot of patterns and a lot of things that you might want to check out and we're going to get started with my very favorite one first. This is little Paco the vampire from the very talented Amigurumi designer Zip Zip Dreams. I talked about this pattern in one of my previous videos 10 Amigurumi designers you've never heard of before and Elif from Zip Zip Dreams thought it was so fun and and she said, let me send you that little Dracula pattern. And I was like, oh, yay. And so I got to work on him and I just can't tell you how much I love him. First of all, he has the cutest little cape on right now. And he's wearing a little white shirt and little purple pants. He is so much fun to make. He is pretty simple, which I really love. And her pattern is really clear. There's lots of great photos. And one thing that I really love to do with patterns like this, especially if they've got a lot of good photos, in them is I just keep them on my computer and I can zoom in to really look at the details especially when I was embroidering his mouth I wanted to see exactly what she was doing and it is wonderful to do that because when you print out some of these patterns they just don't turn out super clear unless you have a way better printer than I do because my printer does not look that great I just thought he was so cute I ended up running out of this flesh colored yarn almost at the end of crocheting his head he doesn't have as tall of a head as the pattern and calls for but you know what it worked out okay I even made his ears and his hands a little bit darker color and I bet if I hadn't even mentioned it you wouldn't have noticed it I really love projects that I can just make do with what I have and it ends up working out in the long run anyway but one thing that I think is great about this pattern if you have any amigurumi experience you'll probably be able to make this pattern it's fairly simple she's got lots of good directions in here but what I love about him is that he doesn't really look simple he he looks pretty amazing. It really has to do with all the details of this little guy. He's got ears. He has a little widow's peak. How cute is that? He's got cheeks. He's got little fangs and a mouth and he has his little cape. And I think all of those things combined turns what could be a very simple little design into something that is extra special. I love Paco. I think he turned out so great. My 23 year old daughter already claimed him. She said that she had to have him. She's going to get him. I know she's going to love him and I really think you guys are too. For little Paco, I used one of my favorites. It's the Paint Box Wool Mix. Erin, I think this is a really fantastic Amigurumi yarn. I've talked about it ad nauseum, so I won't continue to go on and on and on. Just know this is one of my favorites, and I used my 3.5 millimeter Furls Odyssey crochet hook. I will leave links for both of those in the description box as well. So this is the Candy Corn family. This is actually a little Amigurumi design that I did last year. There are lots of little candy corn patterns out there and this is my version of it so if you are looking for something that is super simple say you have never made amigurumi before this might be a perfect project to start with I have a full video tutorial from start to finish you'll be able to do this even if you are a complete beginner I really think that they're fun I love that the dad has little glasses I love that the mom just looks ah, I'm about to drop them 
I love that the mom just looks pretty wholesome and happy and this little baby corn is so cute and I just decided to do her in little pinks and purples with a little hair bow there. You're gonna find the complete pattern, it's free, the tutorial, everything in the description box below. You are probably familiar with this next pattern designer. This is Jennifer from Super Cute Design. I absolutely love these Amigurumi patterns. I have never actually crocheted any of her toy designs before, but I am going to remedy that because her designs are so, so cute. That's why her name is Super Cute because it is so super cute. This little trio of patterns is so cute. I keep using that word, but I don't know what else to say because they are adorable. It's a little doll in a pumpkin costume, a bat costume, and a cat costume. What I love about these is that they are just sweet and happy and they just give you all those fun like Charlie Brown Halloween feel to them. I love that there are techniques that I think would be really beneficial to learn like the way she does the little bangs in the front and how she makes the little pumpkin where it's a little poofy pumpkin on the little body. I think these are really neat things that as you are developing your own skills you can learn how to do these techniques and that's one thing I love about Amigurumi is that you learn new skills and I think this is one that could be great, especially if you are an advanced beginner and you're ready to move on to something a little more challenging and learn something. She has fantastic reviews, so I have no doubts that these patterns are very well written and that the explanations are wonderful. I'm gonna leave a link for her Etsy shop in the description box below. I'm starting to get hot under this hat. Woo. The next Amigurumi designer is Lyshenko Crochet. I hope I'm pronouncing that, but oh my goodness, I love these designs so much. These are really, really unusual and gorgeous Amigurumi designs. So she has several of them, and one of the things that I really like is that she has a pattern bundle of six different Halloween Amigurumi designs. It includes things like these mysterious mountains, and she's got a little Frankenstein doll, and then she has a little car with a pumpkin on the top. She has a little haunted house and a cat and I just really love her unique take on Amigurumi design. These are patterns unlike any others that I have seen. These are really unique designs. They are so cute. Have you seen anything like these before? I haven't. They really are colorful. I love the colors that she uses to make these and I think that they could be really fun creating a little play set for a child or maybe even a mantle decor for Halloween. I could just see lots of different uses for these amigurumi toys. They would just be so cute on a table, on your mantle, with your kids, in a kid's bedroom, anywhere, and they'd be really fun. And I'm rambling, as always. The next amigurumi designer is Funky Freaky Toys, and that is the perfect name for this amigurumi designer's Etsy shop because these are some funky and freaky looking toys. This is outside of probably what my normal would be, but I wanted to include them because they are some spooky, spooky toy designs. She has several of them and the one that actually caught my eye on Pinterest was an ice cream cone set but they are Halloween inspired. They have like an eye. One of them looks like a spider and they're just really really fun and I have never seen anything quite like them before. She also has designs that are from horror movies that I have never seen before so I didn't even know what most of them were but one of them is from the movie It. Now I did recognize this one and it is a baby Pennywise. So it is super creepy. I probably will never crochet them, but I know some of you out there love horror movies and would think these were super fun. So definitely go check out her Etsy shop. The next Amigurumi designer is Jen Pattern, and I found these also on Pinterest, and I thought the little cat ghost was so, so, so cute. I really thought this was really unique and really cute, and it's happy and sweet and not scary at all. But one thing that I really like about hers is that she shows how you can turn these into ornaments. And I think that could be really cute because I know some people have little Halloween trees that they decorate. I thought that could be so cute. She also has some regular ghosts that are just really sweet and cute and a little bit spooky that would be really fun for kids. But she also has a little bunny voodoo doll. <laughs> I think it's just funny. These patterns really do have a sense of humor and I think they're really cute. I will leave the link to that Etsy shop in the description box as well. The last spook t 
spectacular amigurumi pattern designer is by Knit Toy. Now she only has one pattern in her Etsy shop right now that is Halloween themed, but it is three patterns in one. So that's the reason I chose this one. And I thought the design was actually really cute. It's kind of one of the only ones that really is a true doll to me. And I could see a little girl or a little boy really enjoying these. So she has a Frankenstein, a Dracula, and then like a little zombie girl in a pumpkin outfit. And I think they're really cute. And one thing about this Etsy shop is she has a lot of other designs that are actually really beautiful. I love the clean look of these designs. I think this Halloween project is really cute. It's happy. It's fun. I think a child would really, really enjoy these, or you could use them as decor in your house for Halloween. I just think they're really cute. But check out her other designs because there's some really amazing ones. And I think you might like them too. I really hope you enjoyed my spectacular Halloween Amigurumi projects this year. I really enjoyed doing things like this and bringing different designers and different patterns to you guys. I would love to know if you have your own favorite Halloween patterns. Leave them in the comment section below. That way other people can find them as well. And if you would like to make your very own candy corn family, you're going to find the link to that video in the description box as well. As always, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. If you would hit that like button and hit that notification bell because I've got some really fun things up my sleeves that I'm going to be sharing in the very near future. I'm going to leave a few additional videos for you. Maybe they'll be over here. I'm not sure which direction. Maybe both. I don't know. But I hope you will check those out as well. See you guys next week and happy stitching. And there's Jersey barking. Just in time. <laughs>